West's been to see me. Tried to buy my silence at the commission. Blow the lid on him, Frank. Tell the commission he offered to bribe you to give up his seat. I've got a damn good mind. Instantly <coughs> <coughs> exposed West for what he is. He's been using the Labour Party for years. And he's used you. Oh, well, he's tried, I suppose. Name him, Frank. The trouble is, what would it do to the party? Oh, you still think the party's worth saving? We're on the verge of power, Harriet. We've closed the gap between the nationalists. We, with any luck, we'll be in office at the end of the year. Will that really make any difference to people, to those workers? Well, I may not be leader, but I've still got a pretty good chance of a place in the cabinet. That'll give me room to do something. I wonder. It's all such a compromise. I'm just worried. The deeper you get into it, the more you'll compromise yourself. I thought you knew me better. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know what I believe anymore. Oh, Frank, you should have joined the Communists when Eddie Corrigan asked you to. We're the only political force. We? You say we? Yes. I've taken the plunge. When? Last week. I've been uh, thinking for some time. You must know that. I know that's where I'll belong. The Communists will never be a force in Australia. Will you be if you stay with Labour? Frank, you're on your own. You've nothing in common with the rest of them. They're all lip service socialists. They don't give a damn. About the only way they're different from the nationalists is they cultivate dropping their H's. It's all we've got. If I tear it down just to get it west, whose victory is that? You'd do well to disassociate.